All right, thank you. I'd like to call to order the Board and Commission Candidate Review Committee meeting for Monday, November 8th, 2021 at 3 p.m. This time I'll do a uh, call to order roll call, uh, starting with my fellow council member, uh, Council Member Wook. Here. Council Member Denson. Here. Uh, Mr. Mayor of Peak Harbor. Here. And our city uh, interim, interim city clerk, Josh Decker. I'm here. All right, and at this point, can we get a motion to approve the minutes? I'll move to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, excellent, the minutes are approved. Uh, at this time, we're gonna go ahead and welcome Miriam Batson to the uh, conversation. Uh, we have three candidates that will be applying for the Lodging Tax Advisory Committee Review uh, Committee today, uh, including Lindsey Stover and Pat Schmidt. Uh, we will start off with questions. Miriam, welcome. Thank you. And uh, Council Member Wook, if you'd like to take the first question. Thank you. Miriam, hello. Welcome on this Monday, November the 8th. We do have a couple of questions for you, and I'll start out with question number one. Please introduce yourself and let us know why you would like to be on the Lodging Tax Advisory Committee. Well, my name is Miriam Batson. I'm the president and CEO of the Cape Harbor Chamber of Commerce. And uh, I am interested in being on the LTAC committee because of the impact that it has on our community. One of the things that um, I am looking to do as the new uh, president and CEO is really bring different parts of the community together to work together for, you know, whether it's an off peak season event that we can pull off, um, but ways to bring tourism and additional revenue into the city. I think that's gonna be um, great for the economy. It's gonna be great for the businesses here in town. Um, and it does impact all areas of the greater Cape Harbor area. So that's part of the reason why I'm interested in this. Thank you. All right, Miriam, do you have any knowledge of LTAC and its role? <laughs> um, so yes. Do you want me to expand on that, or is that <laughs> maybe maybe it would be helpful if yeah you just kind of explain what do you think the purpose of LTAC is in the community? Yes, yeah, so I I believe that the lodging tax um, committee that this group is is the purpose is to um, look at the tax revenue that's generated from overnight stays um, here in town from host, from hotels, um, short term rentals, etc and pour that into the tourism and marketing for the city. And I think there's some um, great opportunities and there's some groups that have done some wonderful events um, as well as um, work in the communities that has been a draw for people to come to Gig Harbor to see what is available, what they can do. And when they're coming into town, they are spending money um, helping our local economy. So, you know, what we're, what I'm excited about is, you know, how can we look at um, things moving forward that will be beneficial as a whole to our communities. Thank you. Uh, at this time, I'd like to acknowledge that Laura Pettit, our communication and tourism director has also joined us online. Thanks, Dancer. And uh, Miriam, lodging tax is collected for the purpose of providing funding for tourism, promotions, and communities. What makes our mission meaningful to you? Um, it's a good question, actually, because I what what I love about Gig Harbor is the not only the downtown area is so beautiful and attractive, and there are so many things to see and do in our community, and what. Um, what we're looking at with, you know, events that could be something that could happen here in town that we might be able to fund, you know, for the committee to help fund. You know, I look at that as being such a draw for our community. And I did, can you state your question one more time, just to make sure that I got all elements? Sure. Uh, lodging tax is collected. For, what makes our mission meaningful to you is the question. Yeah. So it is, it is showing off our community because um, I know in our in the chamber office when we have um, visitors come in 
and we're you know being able to showcase some of the fun spots in town um you know that's it's just it's fun showing off our treasure so miriam do you possess any particular expertise that would benefit the board um one of the things that we've been looking at we've already started communications with other organizations here in town is to um, pull together uh, the different heads of the different organizations that are in Gig Harbor to um, have like um, like a coalition, so to speak, where we can come together and really develop something that is going to be special and that can be an additional new draw for Gig Harbor. And I know Laura has been in on some conversations with Haley Nichols, our chair, our board chair. And what we're really wanting to do is pull all of these organizations together and find a way that um, we're not stepping on each other, but maybe pulling together to create something new that is going to be that possibly that off season um, or off peak season draw. Thanks. Well, that sounds exciting, actually. So yeah. thank you. <laughs> Okay, um, Miriam, LTech meets monthly on the second Thursday at 11 a.m. Do you have any other commitments that would keep you from attending these meetings? I do not. Thank you. And Miriam, final question. Do you have anything you'd like to add or any questions for us about LTech? What are the biggest, um, okay, so anything to add, let's start with that one. Um, I just look forward, if, if I am selected, I look forward to working together with the group to really see what we can do um, holistically uh, to, to really work on something meaningful and, and fun and special. Um, my question to you guys would be of the, you know, what top three things have you seen that you really like that the committee has done that is kind of that I wouldn't say sacred cow, but um, that you would hope to see continue. Top three things. I might add, since I chair LTAC, and I have one final question. I would say, well, I would say one of the most important things that we're working towards is off season, is that that is what we hear. And that is, uh, we can always fill the hotels in the summer, but uh, the biggest thing we need to work on is off season so that it's a year-round destination. I think that the money that we give, the 125 is, is a huge thing. And I think the, the way that we're gathering information that Laura is doing with the, the geofencing is very valuable to really not just throw our dollars out there, but throw them out where the people are really coming from. And then the council has seen benefits, so please add in. Yeah, I would, I would agree with what Mayor Kuhn said, but I also like it when I see LTAC really focusing their dollars on events that they really think are going to bring outside tourists in, especially when it, it seems like an event that would keep people here over overnight since the lodging institutions are providing this tax. I really like it when they're focused on, yes, I could see somebody staying for the weekend to do this and then this and then this. So I appreciate that. And I think new events as well, working with maybe same groups, if, if that is a thing, but a group maybe that is going to do something a little bit new and different and spread their wings a little bit. Uh, you know, we need to not always do the same old, same old, but uh, have some really great new things for our community as well as tourists coming to town, you bet. And I would just say, I just, I like the energy behind uh, what we're doing here in our community. I think that it's exciting. I think it draws people from around, from other communities uh, into our town to spend money and uh, enjoy the beautiful um, landscape and history that we've got. And I just think we're doing a great job. So Mary, can, can you explain, we, we, we're not, we all want to always do better. Can you name or explain something that you like about the present LTAC mission and something that we could do to improve it? Oh, that's a good one. Um, what, I, what I like about what LTAC has been doing is the different grants that, that they've been putting out there for groups to apply for. And I think that's been very helpful for 
a lot of the um, different uh, organizations in town. And I, I see that as being very important. That's a very important component. I also would like to see um, something in, and in this event that's kind of in my head and I don't know what it's gonna look like because I'm more of a, let's get a bunch of people in the room and talk about it kind of a person. Um, but the event in my head is something that is going to be in all aspects of Gig Harbor. So we can tap into you know, uptown, we can tap into downtown with the Alliance, we can tap into you know, areas up you know, in Gig Harbor North. Um, you know, and it, and just have this bigger draw. Because I think when you look at like Harbor Soccer Club this past year, they they brought in like 2,000 families or players to the community one weekend. And there were, I, I you could see soccer families all over the place having food, having, you know, if they were staying nearby, you know, maybe they had a short-term rental or staying with some friends. Um, you know, that kind of a thing. And I just, the more we can do that in some of those off, like what you're saying, um, the off peak, I think that would be a super, uh, it would be amazing if by the end of 2020, we had some, or 2022, that we had something like that moving forward. I think that'd be great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, Miriam, for your questions. Uh, we will have hopefully an answer for you by the end of Today or tomorrow, Josh? Yep. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you, Miriam. All right. Thanks. Thank you. Okay. So, Councilmember Abersold, if if before you do your last question, because they may come up of off season, if I can ask my one question and then you could ask the final, and then you just steer me when, if that's okay with you. Sure. Sure. Hi, Lindsay. Hi, how are you? Hi. Thank you for joining us. Of course, thank you for having me. It's our pleasure. Uh, we will launch right into questions. Jenny, our council member, Wolf, are you ready? I am. Hi, Lindsay. How are you and that baby? We're doing very well. Thank you very much for asking. Good. Nice to see you. Uh, anyway, we're, we have a bunch of questions for you, and I'll start off with number one. Please introduce yourself and let us know why you would like to be on the Lodging Tax Advisory Committee. Sure. My name is Lindsay Stover. I'm the Executive Director of Harbor Wild Watch. I've been with Harbor Wild Watch for 11 years now, um, and I have sat uh, in the Scanzi Visitor and Interpretive Center since 2004. Um, I think I'm in a unique position for this committee because um, as a receiver of LTAC funds. Um, we obviously have lots of events and activities um, going on uh, that can draw tourism during both the shoulder and peak seasons. Um, but I also get to interact with a lot of the, the visitors that come to um, this town through the interpretive and visitor center. And so I am seeing and hearing what they are like, attracting them to this area and um, you know what, what else they'd like to see or what they're looking for that's missing. Thank you. Okay, Lindsay, do you have any knowledge of, of LTAC and its role? I do, yeah. So I served on this committee. Um, I was looking for the exact dates, but I couldn't find them. I believe it was 2017 and 2018 um, when I came in. And um, so I got to sit on the committee for, um, I think it was the very first time that that you came in, Mayor Kuhn, um, that I had just joined the, the committee. So um, yeah, it, I... I'm aware of it. I, we, Harbor Wild Watch has been receiver of the funds, so we understand where the funds come for, the purpose of it, um, and then how that they can be used. Uh, Lindsay, lodging tax is collected for the purpose of providing funding for tourism promotion in communities. What makes our mission meaningful to you? Yeah, so um, I personally have lived in this area for about 10 years now and obviously like to see it flourish and know how important um, those tourism dollars are for many of our businesses who I know the business owners and employees there. But as the um, executive director of a nonprofit in our community that we you know, really rely on um, tourism and people coming in from out of town to 
you know, achieve our mission. And so it's important to me um, to make a very strong tourism industry for both personal and professional reasons. Thank you. So do you possess any particular expertise that would benefit the board? Um, well, I have served on a lot of different boards and committees um, in my professional career. I think being an executive director of a nonprofit organization and having to um, successfully work with my own board um, is definitely a skill that I bring um, to this committee, but also just being in many different um, community activities. So I served on the Chamber of Commerce. I was the board chair there for a term and served um, for eight years, just actually just got off the board because I termed out. <laughs> um, and I've served as the KGI Watershed Council um, committee chair. I currently serve as the walking tour committee chair, as well as the Donkey Creek Chum Festival chair. So I'm both knowledgeable about boards and committees, but also about the activities and events that happen in the community. Okay, LTAC meets monthly on the second Thursday at 11 a.m. Do you have any other commitments that would keep you from attending these meetings? No, I do not. Awesome. Mr. Mayor, you have a question? Yeah, can you name or explain uh, something that you like about the present LTAC commission and then something that we could improve on as well? Oh. Um, Gosh, you know, one of the things that I wanted to see improved when I previously sat on the committee was the, the process for the, the grants. Um, and you guys did that uh, in the last two years. And that was really, I thought a really big need um, to have a set kind of format. Um, and so I thought that was a really huge improvement. Um, so I don't have any additional suggestions for how you guys do things. Um, so I, I think that was good. I really like that. It's, this committee is well represented by, you know, the hoteliers as well as the, the individuals and organizations that are interacting um, or providing services for the, the tourists. So I like that it's a well balanced committee. You don't always find that. Thank you. Uh, and Lindsay, final question. Do you have anything you'd like to add or any questions for us about the LPAC? I don't, uh, well, actually, I do have one question. Is the intention to, um, in 2022, are there any plans to move it to in-person or will this remain a virtual committee um, or any information in that area? You know, Jim Franich asked me today if the committees or commissions were meeting and I said, it's up to them right now. So I, so actually the commissions, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, Josh, but I believe it's up to the commissions right now if they want to meet Zoom or in person. So, uh, you know, we're finishing up this year with our council meetings in person. I think it's important. I want to I want to see my council before I leave and I think it's just I think we I think everyone tends to get along better and the communications better in person. So, um, that's going to be up to I guess the the mayor, the new mayor will be the chair with Laura and so uh, they both of those two will decide, but I would encourage it. Thank you. Right. Thank you, Lindsay. We will have an answer for you by hopefully the, either the end of the day or tomorrow sometime. Perfect. Great. Thank you so much. Have a great afternoon, everyone. Hi, Lindsay. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. She has like the cutest little boy. He's so cute. He's like over one now. I can't I, believe it. I think COVID, we've time has gotten messed up. I know. I keep thinking it's a baby. I'm like, he's huge. I know. He is huge. <laughs> Wild Watch did a great job trying to reach out to the public and be open, you know, uh, even through COVID. It was impressive. Yeah. yeah, they've done a good job for sure. Yeah, they think outside the box. Oh, they're lovely. So we're a little ahead of schedule, I assume. Yeah, Pat's scheduled for 3.30 and she confirmed with me this afternoon that she'll be on, so. Um, Should we take a 10 minute ready? break? Sure. Yeah, let me pause the recording. Ten. All right. Uh, we are back from our 10 minute break for the uh, LTAC meeting. We're interviewing now Pat Schmidt. Pat, welcome. Thank you. And uh, Councilmember Wolk. Thank you. Nice to see you, Pat. We have a couple of questions for you, and I'll start off with number one. 
please introduce yourself and let us know why you'd like to be on the Lodging Tax Advisory Committee. Hi, my name is Pat Schmidt, and I would like to be on this advisory committee because I actually feel like I, uh, because I've been here for so long and I've been involved in quite a few of uh, different committees and boards that hopefully my knowledge of the different things that go on in Gig Harbor might be helpful to the committee. Um, so like I'm not starting from scratch. I know some things and hopefully be able to add some support to uh, to what's already been going on and hopefully some knowledge about that too. Thank you. Awesome. Pat, do you have any knowledge of LTAC and its role? Uh, to some degree, um, as I said, because I have been on some boards that have used LTEC um, funding, um, that, like the Alliance, um, where it's been really instrumental in helping the uh, helping to to do the good deeds that the, like the, that the Alliance has done. But um, it's allowed us uh, allowed other organizations to do cool things like um, make music day. I, I was very involved with that group too. Um, and without that LTEC support, um, it wouldn't have happened. So um, I'm not as familiar with other things that LTEC has uh, has been able to touch on. Um, but I do know that it's, it's been really important to some of these really to small groups and, to, and, pe and people or foundations that have not had this opportunity and come to the LTEC committee and ask for support. And all of a sudden you give it and then they're able to do something really creative and very different and unique. And that's what's really cool of what, what the committee has been able to do. Uh, Pat, lodging tax is collected for the purpose of providing funding for tourism promotion in communities. What makes our mission meaningful to you? Um, it's meaningful because I, hopefully it supports Gig Harbor and, um, and brings people into Gig Harbor so that it supports our local community and our local businesses, which I had one for many years. And, and I know many of the small business owners um, and, and it, it makes it so that our community stays together and that it makes it so that we can continue doing the things that we do, which is bring bring families and bring the retired people and make it everybody feel like they have something that that Gay Harbor has something to offer to them and that they can they want to give back to our city because that's what makes it a unique opportunity for all of us. So um, I always think I always tell people that when you come to Gig Harbor, you know, be part of the bubble. You know, we have so much that we can do for each other um, as long as we're good to each other and kind and open the door at the post office and and um, and give give the support that that all of these committees do and that that the foundation of what the LTEC committee can do for um, for for um, people coming into Gig Harbor and and when they come to like the Wesley Inn where kind of where I live and and show that and the Wesley Inn um, has allowed my rotary to stay you know use their facility on Friday mornings at no cost to us um, because they you know we couldn't be at Harvard at, at uh, that caught us more you know that's what a community does for each other they open the doors when people are in need and that's what our community does that's what i think that LTEC allows us and that's what gig harbor as a city allows us all to do is to help each other when we need it the most okay thank you we are definitely neighbors helping neighbors here for sure yeah. so pat do you possess any particular expertise that will benefit the board oh i don't know i talk a lot so. <laughs> I listen. I listen. Um, yeah. Okay. Here's what. Here's what I think my expertise is. Is that um, because I have done so much um, because of my uh, the business that I had. I've done so much. I actually have a lot of contacts. Um, I know quite a, know a lot of people. So when something needs to be done, I hopefully will know the person or can figure out a way to get it done and make it so that it's efficient. What I don't do is waste people's time. I don't do that. If I if I really don't if I um, if I don't think it can be done, or if it's not, I just, I guess I hate the waste of time. You know, if it's not something that can be done in a, in, you know, and done so that it makes sense for everybody and everybody wins, um, I'm just not that person. So, um, you know, I, I, I can do long-term things, but, you know, I really like making sure everybody is on board, that everybody wins and that we get things done, but, um, but it can't, I don't, I don't, I'm not much of one that, you know, it's on that for that long-term project that takes forever. Um, that's for you guys to do here. That's what city council does. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Um, LTAC meets monthly on the second Thursday at 11 a.m. Do you have other commitments that would keep you from attending meetings? 
No, not on Thursday. <laughs> no, I, no, I do not. Okay. Mr. Mayor, do you have a question? Yeah, can uh, you uh, give us an example or explain something that you like that uh, the LTAC Commission's done and something that we could improve on? Gosh, Kit, uh, you know, I, I should have done my homework a little bit better to know what the LTEC has done and approved upon. I, you know, I do know that they concentrate um, on uh, heads and beds and, and uh, making sure that, um, uh, so I, I, I honestly don't, I, I don't know, to tell you the truth, what we could improve upon. Um, but what I, I hopefully I can do is, is continue to help the good things that I do know they've done good things. So I, what I want to do is to just continue helping and um, figure out some more doors that maybe we can explore. Um, you know, I, as I said, I, you know, I, I love what uh, LTech did for Make Music Day. I thought that was an incredible experience. Um, and, you know, and, uh, and Barbara Hammerman and, and Amanda Gresham are wonderful people. And, and what they do is so inspirational and it made such a difference to them and to the organization to those kids. Um, so those are the kind of things that I want to continue helping um, and to see what we can do. And that made a huge difference to, um, to their lives and to those kids and their families. And I think that's what makes it such a unique opportunity for all of us to try to find those additional opportunities like that. Thank you. Pat, final question. Uh, do you have anything you'd like to add or any questions for us about LTAC? Uh, you know, um, I know LTEC is, is about uh, is, uh, the lodging tax and, and how to use that. How, how much is currently in, in, in L, the LTEC available at this point? Does anybody know? We have a projected have ending balance of about 900,000 for this year. Wow, that's amazing. It's amazing that we have that much money that we can invest and hopefully continue to do so. So, um, and, um, Laura, does that, do, are, are, do you do, who, who is Laura, you're a part of that committee and, you, and you're and you able to, to use that for the best of Gig Harbor? Yes, we put together, what LTAC is, is an advisory committee that advises on the uses of that fund. Uh, we put together a budget for both the, uh, the city and then also uh, LTAC approves, or I'm sorry, not approves, council approves them. Uh, LTAC makes recommendations on what nonprofits and other businesses would receive those external grants. Cool. Okay. That's what, that's what I was wondering. Okay. That's a, those are my questions. All right, Pat. Well, thank you for uh, being here today. Uh, we appreciate that. We will have an answer for you hopefully by the end of the afternoon or sometime tomorrow. Okay. Good luck with everything. Thanks, you guys. Appreciate your time. Uh, have fun in retirement. <laughs> yeah, I'm working on that part, Jenny. <laughs> Good. Take care. Thanks again. Okay, do we have anyone who would like to make a nomination? So I'm going to start it off with um, uh, the conversation uh, with uh, um, uh, nominating for approval, Lindsay Stowell. Stover? Yes, yeah, Stowell. I will second that. Do we uh, round of votes or an approval or does anyone else want to make a nomination or talk about another candidate? I would like to, this is so hard because all three of these women, when I saw this, I was like, oh my God, it's going to be an impossible choice. And I really like all of them. Lindsay is awesome. She's so thoughtful. She's such a, a fair and just person, has such a fabulous reputation in the community. I do think she, any of them would be good. Pat, I liked how, I believe she'd be representing Gig Harbor now, right? But I'm not even sure she mentioned Gig Harbor now. I mean, she mentioned all these other organizations. She's so involved in so many things and I know she really has the best of the whole community. What is she a receiver for? Does anybody know? She's on the board of directors for- um, Race for the Soldier. PTSD, Race for a Soldier. Oh, yeah. PTSD, okay. okay. And several okay. other groups. She, she yeah. lost before, but that's she probably the primary. Been. She I was a little concerned that she she didn't even know that Laura was part of the committee. And when we asked what she liked or didn't like about LTAC, she didn't know much about LTAC, she even pointed out. So, I mean, Laura is, is you know. I'm here. <laughs> uh, she's very, she's she is the committee more than the chair um, with the committee. So, I mean, I, 
I I was surprised that she didn't have she you don't have to been that involved to know those things so that that was a little bit discouraging. I also thought that Miriam had some really good points too and I like what I like about Miriam is that she she really has the big picture of all of Gig Harbor all the events going on I mean it's the lifeblood of the chamber to have tourism so she's got her, her own personal motivation not to not to help one nonprofit or one event but just to bring people in I mean the the lodging institutions are her members, so she, you know, she's responsible to them as well as the receivers. And I liked how she um, is really taking a strategic look at bringing events to the community in our off season and collaboration. And, and I think in Gig Harbor, the more we can combine events and combine weekends so that we can get people to, to stay overnight, um, the better. So Miriam was probably going to be my first choice because of that, because she's not, I mean, the chamber didn't even ask for money this last year in LTAC. She's got a broader view and a real motivation to help tourism in general in Gig Harbor. I will say I like that hear what Laura has to say. I would second um, what Robin just mentioned. I do think that Miriam brings a great amount of uh, a balanced perspective from her members. I will say that replacing Warren, uh, that is also a consideration as well. Um, I, I adore Lindsay, I love working with her. I really like working with Miriam. I haven't worked as closely with Pat. Um, my understanding would be that, you know, either one would be a great fit. Um, I did think maybe the continuity of having chamber membership for a little while longer might be beneficial, um, but either one is, is really great. Yeah, we do have the downtown waterfront alliance so it kind of makes sense that we would have the chamber as well especially because the chamber represents the rest of the city and the rest of the businesses but it's just a, i mean i agree either one would be wonderful and pat too i love pat she's wonderful and she would get right up to speed as well josh do you know when the next um opening seat or election would be because there's always always the ability to keep those those applications running um we have some um, term limits now, but I don't think any are in the near future. What, it, what does it look like on our next term being up? It's September, 2022, Ginny Wellman, looking okay. at the sheet. Yeah, and next, collector. Next year. So a year from now. Okay, good to know. Good to know as part of the consideration. Now, one thing, one thing that I've, I've kind of encouraged going down the road, and this committee could think about in next year, is I, I think you could have more than nine members. So that is something that this committee could think about next year if they wanted to, uh, you know, they had worked their bylaws. But so there's always, there's always thoughts for change um, if they ever want it. But then we'd have to find more collectors yeah. um, <laughs> we had a problem with, with getting people now so Josh, do you Sorry. have to have the equal amount yes yes you do okay all right and that is a big problem and it, that's a problem it's not going to work oh. okay, so we have a, a motion on the table a second for lindsay stover do we want to take a vote on that or this is so hard. <laughs> sure, let's take a vote on it. Okay. Since we have a motion and a second. All right. So uh, all in favor say aye for Lindsay Stover. Aye. 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 <laughs> it's really hard, you know. I hope that we encourage both these ladies to come back because I think there is a place for Miriam as well. You know, um, yeah, it's really difficult. These these especially these these two and all three of them really, but the two of them are really tough. Yeah, and, and I do think it's important to have the chamber on here. So then, then it looks like we are recommending yeah. for approval to the council, uh, Lindsay Stovall, Stoll. Stover. Stover. S-T-O-V-E-R, <laughs> Stover, -E Jenny. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, do we have any other conversation pieces we need to discuss? Yeah, I have one more thing for the committee that just came up on Friday last week. We have a Parks Commission member who was just appointed this past summer who has missed the last five meetings. And Whoa. staff is recommending that we can have the committee consider removing him from the board. Um, five meetings. Yeah, Doug, 
Doug Terrian. He's the one we appointed last summer. He lives on a on a boat in the harbor. Um, and apparently, I guess one of the meetings he had technical issues, and the other four meetings we just haven't heard from him. Has anybody been reaching out to him? Yeah, Terry with staff has been reaching out and I would been... highly support that. That five meetings is half a year. That's that's not right. Right. That's so weird. He was so excited to be on. And no one has been able to get in touch with him? I think Terry's been in contact with him. He just doesn't show up for the meetings. So what do we need to do as a body? So your action would just be to recommend to council of his removal and we would just do a consent agenda item um, at the next meeting and that would create a vacancy. Okay. Uh, do we need to make a motion for that or? Yeah, I think that would be good. Okay. Um, so is there a motion to uh, bring an item before the consent agenda to remove a member from the Parks Commission for absence of um, for their absence? Do we have a, is that right, Josh? Is that? Yeah, that, that, that would be the motion. Okay. We have a second. I like second. seconded. Yeah, second. Aye. 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 So what's, right. what's his name? Doug Terrian. Okay, yeah, Doug, okay. Yeah. Um, That's a lot Doug. of meetings to miss and apparently doesn't have any excuses. Is that what we're getting here? I, I just um, wonder, I mean, I guess I'd have to We'd have to hear from Terry because I hope somebody's been reaching out, making sure he understands when the meetings are and all that good stuff. Well, you learn all that when you sign on. Some people's lives just get busy, you know, and they, uh, you know, a lot of people would resign when their life gets busy, but some just, uh, they don't. It happens to all organizations. You know, we have it with the chamber and all sorts of them. So it's not, it's just not that big a thing. And, and it will be on the consent agenda and not on the real agenda. Yeah. Okay, good. All right, any uh, further discussion? I move to adjourn. We have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank, Thank you, you all so for much. your time today. See ya.